we need to educate our radiologists, we need to educate the urologist so that you can discuss in the multidisciplinary team with the radiologist the findings. And only if you do that, these results will be applicable in the general population. MR imaging has a more and more prominent role in the detection of clinically significant prostate cancer. However, the capacity is very limited and that's a real problem. Therefore, we investigated which parts of the MR examination we could omit um, and also and still have a good diagnosis. Also, we investigated whether we could get rid of contrast agents because this makes the examination invasive with potential side effects. We found that with a short MR sequence, we can double the number of MRs. That means we can half the time needed for imaging. One can safely use a fast protocol, which will double your MR capacity at lower cost. And I think this makes this technique eligible for screening high-risk patients. Yeah, no, thank you very much. I think this is really important data and interesting data and up to the point what we need today to improve capacity to do MRs in our patients before a biopsy. Still, it is done by dedicated experts, probably they're not better experts in the world than those who did this study with you being the part of the, of the leaders there. What makes you think though that this data is reproducible in a general MR service somewhere else outside of expert centers. The, how you acquire the images is very important. If you have a bad image, you have a bad diagnosis. Then second, you need to test the radiologist. And third, you need to test the MR fusion biopsy. So I think there's a lot of work to be done. We need to educate our radiologists. We need to educate the urologist so that you can discuss in the multidisciplinary team with the radiologist the findings. And only if you do that, these results will be applicable in the general population. Dr. Behrens, your results are very good and very good news for our patients. Which, do you think that your study is a strong rationale for a further clinical trial, randomized, where in the intervention arm there will be only this fast biparametric imaging? We need to use our technique in a multi-center prospective randomized trial over Europe and we need to combine our forces with all the countries in the world. And actually the EU Parliament has made a statement which tells that every country in Europe should screen patients for prostate cancer. And I hope that we join forces and that we will be able to set up such a trial. And I'm willing to dedicate my time to set up the trial and to help. EAU TV is brought to you from the 34th Annual EAU Congress in Barcelona. And if you'd like to watch more things like this, then you can click on these videos here. And you can also subscribe for the very best in medicine, from psychology to urology, from gynecology to genetics.